Hey everybody, Happy New Year. James and Zach here back at Denali Well. Um, you may not have heard from us for a while. We've been filling a lot of orders, getting that end of, new year, end of the year busy section over with. But we just wanted to bring you a, a new system today that we're offering and kind of just another feature for you guys to use from Denali Well. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of back end work on the database, back end of the website to be able to get all this information to our users, potential users, at the touch of a screen through ChatGPT or any other um, AI interface. And kind of furthermore to what James was saying is we put a lot of information on the back end of our website so you won't physically be able to find it by going to our website, but essentially the information is there. So specifically for the Nollywell machines, if you ask ChatGPT for settings, for troubleshooting, things like that, or other AI tools, not just ChatGPT, it'll provide you with accurate information that you can actually use out in the field. Do um, you kind of want to go into the settings a little bit and what it explains? Yeah, it'll go through from anything from troubleshooting the units with external alarms, laser alarms, giving you those commonly seen things that we've developed and seen over the years of working with the units for how to troubleshoot those in a simpler way, whether you're out in the field or in your shop, everybody typically has their phone with them, be able to go right on to chat GPT or anything else like that, be able to get that accurate information immediately. And not only for troubleshooting, we also have the ability to have the settings in there for the unit. So if you want to weld an eighth inch aluminum T-joint, you could say, Chat GPT, I need to set up my Denali Weld Jet 2000 to weld eighth inch aluminum. It will give you your laser power, wobble frequency, wobble width, everything that's needed to get you a good standard baseline on our unit. And the biggest thing we want to emphasize too is, you know, we're still here. We urge you guys, please call us, please reach out, any questions. But we do understand some guys like to learn a little bit on their own or spend a little bit more time. And me personally, kind of when I learn things myself, it helps kind of mold them in my brain a little bit more. So it's just another avenue for, for people to try. And we're hoping to make our, our end users, you know, current end users and future end users of this equipment, their lives a little bit easier when it comes to kind of dialing it in, setting it up, and just your kind of day-to-day -day operation of the unit. So how that would actually look, you know, there's nothing special you need to do. Just go to your, your AI tool, um, enter your question, and then it'll spit out the information back and it will list it pretty nicely. So it'll give you laser power, wattage, you know, everything like that, your wobble frequency, list it out for you to kind of copy over to your unit. And again, every everything that you need to know will be on there, but we're still just a phone call away, an email away. You need anything from us, we're always here to help you out. Yeah. Once again, we know the end of the year is busy, guys, so happy holidays to you all. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that type of things from us, and uh, see, see you next, next year. year. So as you can see on the screen, my question here was in green. Why does my Denali Weld Jet 2000 laser welder turn on but not allow laser out? And our response is exactly what we would expect. If your Denali Weld Jet 2000 powers on but will not emit laser, it is almost always because of one of the required safety or interlock conditions is not being met. So what that means in our units, we do have safety interlocks in our machine, um, one of which could be the safety door, it could be the emergency e-stop, if it's a water-cooled machine, it could be your chiller not being ready or a flow fault, it could also be your gas supply, uh, not enough gas pressure will not allow laser out. Um, you'll have other things that are farther in depth um, going into the HMI control. Could be a software lockout, uh, fiber or laser, gun safety issue. Multiple, multiple things in here that we've run into in the past that are now accessible to you at your fingertips when searching on an AI platform. So, another example here, we're going to ask or give it some more information. So the Denali Weld Jet 3000 feels like it's losing power when welding. It's a very common question that we get. So you'll see here, it'll kind of go through and it should spit out all the information we're looking for here. So one of them here, this is a least, a least common issue or a less common issue, but it would say overheating. So that is possible if your laser source itself is overheating, you're gonna have less power. Um, that's not super common on the Denali's, but it is something to check. Um, the fiber optic cable being damaged or kind of having a, uh, a small chip crack in it. You know, once again, not common at all, um, but it is something to make aware. If you're gonna call us, say, hey, this is kind of something that maybe we were thinking about. Um, shielding gas, that could definitely be one. If you if you have a lack of shielding gas, you're gonna burn out your lens almost instantly. Um, 
parameters hitting the internal limits. Um, that's something you're not really going to run into unless, you know, once again, your machine kind of is overheating. Um, contaminated protective lens or nozzle. Um, I wish this one was number five. That's something we're going to work, or I mean, number one. Um, but this is probably the first thing that I would check when a customer calls me and they are concerned about a lack of power. This is the first thing that I point them to. Just going to another example, we want to show you guys here on your phone just to show you, you know, whether phone, laptop, anything works here. So our question was, Denali weld laser welding settings for a quarter inch stainless steel. Um, and here we go, it gave us some information that we're looking for. So it does give you a nice little explanation kind of the settings, which is nice. Um, and then it kind of goes into here. So laser power, 80 to, 90, or 80 to 100%. So, the, you know, 2,000 watt unit, we're looking at 1,800 to 2,000 watts, which would be if you want full penetration. Um, gives you good welding speed here. Um, that's that's kind of where I would want to be at. Um, maybe a little high. Um, and then as well, focus position. So we want it set at zero to negative five. You know, zero is ideal here. Um, shielding gas, it gives you good information. You want either argon or nitrogen. Your beam size, that is a little small, but the the beauty of this system is that the more and more and more we use this, the more it's gonna learn. So, you know, starting out the information might not be the best, but as more and more information comes out, more people ask it questions and things like that, it's gonna overall get better and give you better experience for the user. So like I said, as time goes on, the system is only gonna get better.